I made multiple phone calls to their claims department and was just sent in a circular loop for 20 days, not even a return phone call. I know at six, has the government ever made you feel worthless or blatantly ignored? That's how a local woman felt following an accident with a post office truck. After getting nowhere, she quickly realized that she needed help, so she decided to get Marty to take on the federal government. There's still pieces hanging around, but this was flopping off. Lynette Mitchell needs a good body shot. He hit there. And underneath here, um, one of the mechanics actually pushed this back in for me. But The front end of her Honda Accord was roughed up by a U.S. Postal Service box truck. It happened right here in the city on Fort Pitt Boulevard. Uh, two gentlemen, Good Samaritans, told me um, that someone had just hit my car, and it was a post office box truck. So there were two witnesses to this accident. They tell the same story that the driver hit her car right here, got out and looked at the damage, but they add to it saying, the driver also delivered some mail in one of these buildings, got back in his truck without leaving any identification, drove up the street here, and took a right turn on Market Street, which, by the way, is one way. Well, there were parts all over the street. And he leaves. He left. Lynette says the Postal Service sent folks to the scene, said they would contact her the next day. That was January 17th. Lynette Mitchell sent me this email two weeks later. I am beyond frustrated with our United States Post Office sending me in circles. I simply want my car returned back to the original condition it was in before the postman decided to play bumper cars with my parked vehicle. We left several messages. And never called you back? Never had a phone call back. State Farm agent Janine Butterfield got entangled with the Postal Service Claims Department trying to help her clients. Never had anybody that blatantly ignored us. As January turned into February, nothing. This is February 6th. This email, is it resolved? Not yet. Ugh. February 7th, well, I have reached my point of no return. That's when we got involved. Oh, my goodness. It was, <laughs> what, 24 hours and she had somebody at her door handing her a check. Within 24 hours, this check from the Postal Service for nearly $2,500 was hand-delivered to Lynette. Done deal. For 20 days, not even a return phone call. Not one? Not one. And finally, my agent said, reach out to Marty. He's going to get you some help. There you go. So what can you do? Well, the post office is self-insured. They tell me they have to have two estimates. They have up to six months to reply. I would let your insurance company go after them, right? They will pay the claim. You have to eat the deductible and the rental car cost, or you can wait six months and hope you get through this madness, which is what it is. So, yeah, it's crazy. so what's the deal here? Why no response? Huge bureaucracy. And I know a bunch of folks that work in the Postal Service. It's not as if they don't care. I think the boots on the ground folks are good people. However, comma, they're buried, and I mean buried. In, in fact, in this case, you were called them eight times, not one return phone call. It's not because they're bad people. They, it's just they have so many cases. It's madness, and it has to be fixed because this gets no better for anybody. Yeah. Try and find a lost package. Try it. Good luck with that. I mean, really, at the end of the day, they care, but they don't have enough people to care. It's tough. Yeah. All right, Marty, thanks so sure. much. Marty, thank you. And if you have a problem and want to get Marty, you can send an email to getmarty at kdk.com or you can call 412-575-2244. And you can visit kdk.com slash getmarty to see how he is making a difference one story at a time.